Look, I know things seem bad now, but it could have been a lot worse. At least Max is all right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm really lucky. Mm. Hey. Mm. Morning. Hiya. Uh, well, um, you guys look hungry. Have you had anything to eat? Uh, well, I'll go and get Amy and Max up, and um, I'll get them some breakfast. Thank you. Right, come then. Chop, chop. Let's go and see what we got. Hot, 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 hot. So, how are you? Very, very stupid question, sorry. <laughs> you nothing to apologise for. I don't know how we're getting through this without you. I don't know. No, that's not true. <laughs> But I was wondering if I could ask you another little favour. Name it. I've just got a few things I need to sort out before the funeral this afternoon, so I hope you could look after the boys for a bit. Absolutely. And if there's all else you want. I just want him back. With me. Okay. Come on. There you go. Get yourself one tea. Oh, thanks. I think I might. How'd it go? Not good. We spent half the time holding Claire up. Oh, she's in the back room now with the boys. Listen, I was thinking maybe I should take the kids upstairs and watch a DVD with them or something. Why are you two uh, keep an eye on her? Yeah. Send her out, good idea. Brilliant, right, Tillid. I just feel so helpless. I wish there was something I could do. I know what you can say. She's earned enough stories to last her a lifetime.